Since 1991, an alarming number of UFOs have been sighted by thousands of people in the skies above Mexico City. Now the strange invasion seems to be spreading north. You are hearing the voice of the American military monitoring a UFO as it hovers over a secret desert facility, part of Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas, Nevada. As part of sightings ongoing investigation into the Nellis craft, the video is being analyzed by a Defense Department subcontractor specializing in image enhancement. He believes the Nellis UFO bears an uncanny resemblance to many of the UFOs observed over Mexico City concern that his startling conclusions could compromise his top-level security clearance, his identity is being concealed. And this is the Nellis Air Force Base. Right, this okay. is the Nellis Air Force Base range footage. Now this piece of video right here was taken in 1991 during the eclipse in Mexico City. What specifically did you notice that was similar? There appears to be four little bumps on there and there's also four little bumps on this guy. We did do some extensive work on this spine area, this ridge along the top and along this area here. And when we enhance these areas, uh, it reconstructs very similar. Is it this extreme black, this, this pitch black circle on each of these objects that, that sort of was, was the, the whistle for you that, that sounded the alarm like that there might be some similarity between these two objects? Yes, yeah. Um, that area was puzzling to us in the original analysis because it appeared to be so highly absorbent uh, of light. Most objects uh, illuminated in this bright a sky, um, even surfaces that are way down on the bottom out of the sunlight in deep shadow, still reflect light back to the camera. This object stops reflecting right here on this forward edge, and it falls off very rapidly to pure black down the center. Very, very black, what we call super black. Do you know any aircraft? Are you familiar with any aircraft that would look like that? No. In the sky? Uh, we looked at it in comparison with all known types of military and commercial and private type aircraft, uh, but we were unable to find any wings or anything on the geometry of this. Each UFO has a black ridge center, an identical profile, and a white diffuse shape shadowing the core. But these are not the characteristics that excite our expert, who's trained to analyze minute detail in satellite photos. We took some video from a golf ball coming up through the sky and down to the green, produces a similar object to a UFO. It's a small white dot in the sky. Um, we were able to go to those images and with, with very minimal work, able to bring out the dimples in the golf ball in flight. When we look at these images, uh, we can't get the definition of the geometry that we would expect for objects as close as this one was to a very good camera. Uh, the objects by nature are fuzzy or undefined or unclear. And this one was shot by a very expensive uh, tracking camera uh, on a very stable mount uh, this one was shot by a handheld uh, consumer video camera, and there's no difference in, in uh, resolution. And we find that puzzling, that uh, no matter how many of these images you get from whatever source, they all have that uh, ball of cotton syndrome or that fuzziness to them. When they were seen only over Mexico City, it was a phenomenon. Now that the activity of seemingly identical UFOs has spread into American airspace, it can only be called a trend. The sightings investigation will continue.